President, thank you very much. Uh, today I'm here to speak on behalf of uh, a good friend and an exceptional public servant, uh, Chairman Ajit Pai of the Federal Communications Commission. I've admired his work uh, throughout his service uh, within the Commission, uh, which dates back to 2007 when he was in the office of the General Counsel. Uh, he was promoted over time to become the Deputy General Counsel at the Federal Communications Commission, and in 2012, the Senate confirmed by a voice vote uh, his service as a, to the Commission, and he's continued to embody the integrity, honesty, and dedication uh, in this role, something we'd expect from a Kansan. As only the second Kansan to ever be nominated to serve on the Federal Communications Commission, the first being Bob Wells of Garden City, Kansas, who served from 1969 to 1971, Ajit Pai has proven himself to be a capable and talented leader and one of the smartest people I've ever met, especially when it comes to public policy. I've worked with him and his staff uh, throughout my time on the Senate Commerce Committee, traveled with him throughout our home state, uh, and uh, getting to know him on a personal level has really been a delight, something that has been uh, a highlight of my time as in serving in the United States Senate. He's a native of Parsons, Kansas, a small town in the southeast corner of our state, and he brings uh, with him an understanding of the challenges that face rural America. He understands the importance of access to high-speed broadband and wireless connectivity, and I believe his roots as a small-town Kansas kid make him exceptionally qualified to advocate for rural America. Ajit came to Wichita just this past week uh, to explore ideas and explain policy opportunities to close the digital divide within local broadband providers who work in, the, in Kansas communities that I serve. The lack of broadband connectivity in parts of rural Kansas has a lasting economic educational and public health impact, and Ajit Pai has prioritized incentive-based solutions like the Connect America Fund and the Mobility Fund to close this divide in a fiscally responsible and competitively driven way. Outside of supporting high-speed broadband build-out to underserved or unserved areas, Ajit Pai created the Broadband Deployment Advisory Committee to focus on policy recommendations to promote broadband deployment across America, including removing regulatory burdens and barriers and improving the permitting and right-of-way process through regulatory reform. While in Kansas, he also was able to see the great work that's being done to implement the next generation 9-11 technology in our home state. As we know, improving these communication systems is absolutely necessary to ensuring adequate emergency services to rural and urban Americans alike. And we see that today and over the last several months with the disasters and tragedies that have occurred uh, in our country. Ajit also has proven himself to be a leader who is committed to free markets, clearly understanding that regulations should be balanced with pro-growth economic principles that do not unduly harm employers or stifle innovation. To this end, Ajit Pai announced his intentions to stand up a new Office of Economics and Data within the FCC to provide economic analysis on the policies and functions of the agency. We're looking for thoughtful, data-backed input to the agency that should lead to market-driven policy decisions that the Commission can then hang their hat on. Critical issues before the FCC today require this type of expertise. Things such as efficient, effective broadband deployment, quality spectrum management, schools and libraries desperately need us, as well as hospitals desperately need this spectrum, and fostering innovation just in the general sense. If we want a growing economy with more jobs, better jobs, higher paying jobs, we need access to the latest technologies across the country. As the currently appointed chairman of the FCC, Ajit has uh, improved openness and transparency within the Commission, eliminated onerous and duplicative regulations holding up that innovation and protecting consumers and has protected consumers from illegal and fraudulent robocalls. One recent decision under his leadership that has received so much attention from consumer advocates, industry representatives, and policy academics 
is the order, the FCC order restoring internet freedom, notice of proposed rulemaking. Under Chairman Pai's leadership, the Commission has collected tens of millions of comments regarding the agency's proposal to roll back the 2015 Open, open Internet Order and has extended the deadline for even more comments so that more interested parties could be heard. This input collection, coupled with fundamentally improving rulemaking process, has increased the Commission's culture of openness and transparency, something that I certainly support and would continue to encourage. I believe the federal government must ensure a fair and open internet that is not blocked or slowed. I do not want outdated utility style regulation to the internet that was established for telephone companies in the 1930s. Instead of leaving this important regulatory framework open to interpretation and changes with every new in administration, Congress the United States Senate, our Commerce Committee, should and must craft bipartisan legislation that preserves the fair and open internet. Chairman Pai has taken thoughtful steps toward, this long -term, toward a long-term solution by seeking to eliminate the harmful 2015 regulations hindering broadband deployment and harming an innovative internet ecosystem. Ajit Pai has, a, has repeatedly proven himself to be a public service of the highest caliber, with strong integrity and character. And I'm proud to recommend his swift confirmation to the Federal Communications Commission and call upon my colleagues to support his nomination. Ajit Pai is an intelligent, articulate uh, public servant who has the character and integrity that is uh, required at the Federal Communications Commission. I support his nomination and ask my colleagues to do the same. Mr. President, I yield the floor.